Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to save uh, in game, so to speak. Um, <clears throat> now, this is just a trick to show you guys how to do this. Uh, in terms of saving within the level itself to, to a certain spot, you can't do that. There's no way you can. I'm just mentioning that right now. Uh, but to, let's say, if you just finish a level and you want to pick up at the next level uh, where you left off at, after you leave the uh, game off for a while. Alright, I'll show you how to do that. First thing we gotta do... We are going to... Use this. Set. One. We're going to grab our map settings, there we go, and we'll put the lay on this a little bit, so this will go through before that does. Let's go ahead and put some items in here. That grenade at there it is. And save it. Go back to this level in a minute. Okay. Exit. And we'll start a new map. Let's get rid of that so we don't copy ourselves. No, we want this. Okay. We want that door locked. First spawn point there. Okay, now when we spawn in. Teleport there. <clears throat> now I'll show you how this works. Okay, so we got that. Now an AI spawned. Sure, compare. One. When that equals one. It's true, right now it's false. I'm going to pull in the filter, replace this with this one. Okay. Now we also got to do, we have to put a delay on it. One. So, you know, I set this to point one seconds this way, you know, it's quick. Okay. So, when this is activated, we'll send this over here. So, if we did that first level, it'll put us here right away. We also want another integer to compare. this. Open the door. If it reads zero. Okay, so if this is zero, it'll open this door and we'll spawn in here. 
If it says one, it will spawn us right over here. And if it does spawn us over here, it will. We uh, warp here. If we spawn in here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put those same items over here. Explain real quickly. If we do that one level, this will activate this and we'll let this go. And then we'll teleport over here. So you need to find that. Okay, we passed that first level, so we'll warp over here. If we come back here after we left the server, start this later, we'll spawn here. This door will open, and then we got whatever items we picked up in the last level right over here pick up where we left off at. Okay. Let's go ahead and publish it. First level. Go here. Let's find that level. There it is. <coughs> All right. What was this level? Got it. Okay. Now, when I start the level, you gotta publish these by the way if you want it to work, just so you know. There it is. Okay, start game. Okay, so now I'll pick these items up. Go over here. Okay, now I'll load the next level, and obviously, uh, I'll show our progress is saved.
Test two. grenades back and we got our guns. This dark box is still locked so we can't go back in that way. Okay. So that's how you save your progress to keep moving forward with what you got. <clears throat> okay. Now if I leave the server back in that room it's going to spawn me in a different spot. Now it's going to spawn me in this room. continue my progress. So I don't have everything, but I can pick it up right here. So there you go. That's how you can set that up. That's basically how you set that up so that, okay, you can take your progress after a level, but if you leave the server, you go back in, it'll put, you can put yourself in a different level, a different spot, and you can grab the stuff uh, that you missed along the way. So that's one way to do that. Now, a more obvious way, and I'm, I'll show this off real quick before anyone writes in the comments, is, let's say you don't want to do any of this stuff. Okay, well... all this junk. The easy way to do this is obviously just set up there we go. Set up a spawn point and then of course just set your loadout up. to set up, you know, your traits and everything that you want to put in there. And this is the easy way to do it so that, um, <clears throat> let's say you have to want to make sure that they get the weapons they need, they need the first level. So that when they come to this level, they'll automatically have them when they spawn in. Um, <clears throat> if you want to do it that way, that's the easy way to do it. So when they leave the server, they can come back in and then they can just, they'll start with what they're left with. Uh, this is the easy way to do it. The other way, of course, was uh, the more dynamic way if you want to use that. Again, not the best way because there's no way to save in-game yet, but hopefully this will be a good option for some of you who want something more dynamic with your levels. Uh, and with that being said, hope you all found this helpful, and you all take care.